Hello, I am Hinkle McCringleberry, and today I'm going to read you a Christmas story. So let us begin. Christmas night, all asleep. No noise, silence reigns over all. The scene is a cozy living room. Next to the tree stood a broom against the wall. And just next to that, a chimney of brick. Just then, a sudden rustle. And then from the chimney exploded a black soot. It was Santa Claus with his jolly old look. As he got down the chimney, he grabbed the broom and brushed the dust from the carpet floor. Then he put his big red sack on the floor and pulled out a teddy bear. He put it under the tree with much glee. But little did Saint Nick know, he awoke a southern man who began to tussle out from his bed. As the man made his way down the stairs, all his hair stood up on his arms, his legs, and everywhere in between. One by one, the steps leading downstairs creaked, but Santa didn't notice for he had his airpods in. The man reached the base of the stairs and walked through the kitchen. Then he reached the living room and saw the fat man in his red attire. He then called out, Who are you? at the top of his lungs. Santa jumped and both his airpods came out and fell on the floor. The man had a gun. Nine whole millimeters of Republican fun. Get out of my house, he screamed, or I'll shoot. Santa tried to reason with the man, his face not jolly anymore, but the man did not listen, screaming more and more. For a few good minutes they yelled at one another, the man reaching for the phone to call the popo. Santa then said, I'll do anything, I'll give you money, oh please don't say no. That is exactly what the man said. Santa needed to act fast or he'll be caught and put away. So he leapt towards the man and tackled him, grabbing for the gun and smacking away the phone. They rustled and tackled, fighting for dominance over one another. Then Santa made the mistake of losing his grip. He let go of the gun, now against his head. There was a loud bang, and Santa's vision went black, as black as the soot in the chimney. Thank you for listening to this story, dear viewer. The one by the name of Goofy R. Christmas Night Story by Thomas Dore.